What's up you guys, Robert here again for another Tovar Guitar video lesson. Today we're going to do another request. This is The Best of Me by The Starting Line. And it was requested by Geo Surge Malazart. So thank you Geo Surge Malazart for requesting this one. If you guys like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And comment and subscribe to my channel. Um, also follow me on social media. I post there pretty much daily. I'm on Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat. I'll put the links to those in the description below. Anyways, the song's not too hard. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it does have an electric guitar and also an acoustic guitar in the beginning. So go ahead and grab your acoustic guitar, tune it to standard, and let's get started with the intro. <laughs> Okay, so that's the intro. Uh, so you're gonna need four chords, an E major chord, an A sus two chord. So an A sus two chord is basically an A chord, you know, uh, without the bottom one. So you only need these two. So you can use either your index and middle or you can use your middle and ring like I do. Then you need a uh, B power chord and a C sharp power chord. And you're gonna strum all the way from the fifth to the first string on all of those. You can also use these two fingers also, your third and pinky, and it helps when you're sliding around like that. Okay, so it goes E, A, sus two, B, and it goes to A, then C sharp, B. Then once you get that, then you just gotta get the rhythm, so it goes. A quick little strum right there at the end and that's the intro so let's get into when the full band comes in and the verse <laughs> okay so that's the um, the uh, main riff of the I guess you can call it like the intro after the intro before the verse or interlude or whatever you want to call it it's just this little melody um, so they're going to be doing octaves so octaves um, are pretty much when you play two of the same notes together so the first one you're going to want to start it here on the fifth string 11th fret and then here on the third string 13th fret and then you basically just follow those uh, you keep the same gap between the two fingers and then you want to mute all the other strings so that you only hear those two together and the way you do that is uh, like with your index finger so you can actually somewhat like somewhat like block the other strings if you just rest it on them and if you actually touch the top string with your index finger you can mute it so when you strum you can you can strum freely and and only get those. You can also use your middle finger on the sixth if you'd like. If you do it right, you should be able to hear those too. So there goes. So from there to the 14th fret, this is the guide right here, the index finger. 11 of 14, then seven, I mean, sorry, nine, seven. Then it goes to seven, seven, then seven, eleven, seven, seven, eleven, seven. Okay, now I'm gonna play it, I guess, uh, about half speed or something. So. Okay, and 
there's actually chords below that. So let's actually get to the chords. <laughs> Okay, so those chords are actually pretty straightforward. It's the same as the intro chords, uh, but in, in this order. So it's E, A, B, C sharp, and stays on A. Then it goes into the verse part. So, really straightforward. That's it. And I, it just does it like just like that over that melody. So let's get into the verses. Okay, so that part in, in the um, verses, the chords, for the most part, the majority, it's it's just an E chord, palm muted and chugged. So you hold that E chord, and then you're just gonna want to get. The bottom three. Now every cycle of the chorus, they'll do it different times, different amount of times depending on which part it is. So you're gonna have to just listen to the song and count how many times to do it and just memorize it. But it basically just does that. Then once it gets, it does that for a little bit, then it'll go to the A chord. A power chord, or that A sus 2 chord we did before. And then it'll go back. And then as it's about to go to the chorus, it'll go to F sharp. And then it'll go into the chorus. So that part's easy. It's just F sharp power chord. Here, second fret, sixth string. Then to A. It's just. Now let's get into that part where uh, there's actually some notes over the... And again, you're going to have to just count how many cycles. But here are the notes, they just go... Really easy, it's using the E string, the high E string as like a pedal note. Meaning like it just keeps repeating that note. While it's descending from these notes on the B string, it goes five, four, two, zero. And if it helps a lot if you palm mute that second string. If you don't palm mute the second string, you'll pretty much get like this really distorted sound. Which isn't to totally terrible, but to if you want it to sound real clean, It'll sound real clean like that. So you're just gonna have to palm mute that second string if you can. And you just kind of bounce your, your palm off of the high E as you're going, you know? Um, so again, it's just depending on which section of the song it is, or which, which time around it is, it'll be a different amount of repetition. So you just have to kind of watch out for it. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much the verses. So let's get into the chorus. Okay, 
Okay, so that's the chorus. It's basically just like the intro, uh, the same chords, except you're not going to do like the, the two higher strings. You're not going to strum them. You're going to just strum them as normal power chords. So it's E, A, B, C sharp, A, C sharp, B, B. going back into the verse so it's very straightforward you just got to give it that rhythm that and right, there it goes So it's just that chug chug strum, chug chug strum, chug chug strum, chug chug strum, really fast. Mm -hmm. And that's basically it, that's the uh, chorus. So let's get into the last part which is the bridge. Okay, so the the bridge is uh, pretty simple as well. There's no chords, um, but there's just this uh, like open string kind of thing. Uh, basically, you're gonna hold the pedal note that, that are gonna stay the same is uh, this note here on the third string fourth fret. It's gonna stay there, and you're gonna strum also the B and the and the E string. Those, those, uh, while holding that one, and you're just gonna move this bass note around from this, uh, four, fifth string, fourth fret to open. And then, and then you just play notes between that. So, you first position is here, and then you're gonna go. Five, three, two, three, five, three, two, three, then let go of your middle finger. And then same thing, five, two, three, five, three, two, three. Then after two times, or, or one and one, then you're gonna go five, one, two, three, five, one, two, three. Let go of the finger, five, one, two, three, five, one, two, three. Repeat, five, two, three, five, one, two, three, five, one, two, three. And then at the very end, it's just three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two. Until it just stops and then it goes into the last chorus of the song. And that's pretty much it. That's how you play Best of Me by The Starting Line. So if you guys like the video, make sure to give me a like and comment. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, subscribe to my channel for more YouTube uh, video lessons. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.